Hello, everybody. I'd like to welcome y'all in. This is the second of our new monthly tournaments here at Fallen Timbers. First match for you here is Bart Good and Dan Bell. We got Dan Bell at the table right now. This is Nine Ball. It's a doing a race to nine today because we only got 11 players because of the snow. I'd like to thank everybody who braved the snow to come out and play with us. This is the first game here, so... Oh no! Uh, uh, yeah, it must have been, and he's not going to make Bart shoot those. But, uh, So this is basically your BCA rules, only um, we're, we do the, um, because it's rack your own, um, the nine ball does not count in the bottom two holes. It's alternating break. Three foul rule is in effect. Break for Bart if a uh, uh, three ball. It's got a shot on the. You can see the two, but it does not pass the two ball here. I think you're going to see Bart play a safe and roll up on the three. nice shot. Dan does have an opportunity here to lay up a nice safety two. If he hits the, um, that's the bottom side of the two ball here, it'll go nice and easy. It goes behind the six. Just like that. It's a pretty shot. That's even better than the one that Bart gave him. Bart's going to have to go two rails here as he wants to hit the two ball full in the face so that if he misses it it goes into the end rail and the cue ball comes out if he makes it it comes out and he has a shot on the three ball I think uh, as long as they're shooting down here I'm going to leave this camera angle for y'all that was a nice shot by Dan Nice little safety battle there. Uh, he can carom this uh, six ball in. He's just gonna you know, roll it up and play safe. And he didn't let Bart see the edge of this, but um, it's a pretty easy hit. Bart may even go airborne here with this. He's walked away, so I imagine he's gone to get his jump cue. Well, let's get that jump up close and personal. And Bart is from the Grand Rapids area. Dan, uh, I think, is from the Flint area. He's always at the tournaments there when we go down there to play. And, uh, well, let's get to this other and see what Dan's doing here.
something off of this and come up back behind this eight ball. And he's let uh, Bart see the edge of the ball here. I think these guys are pretty familiar with each other's games. Uh, they pl play in all the same tournaments together. Dan's got a nice little shot here on this four ball. He's got a good opportunity to get out and tie those score up. I like just stopping the ball. You can pull it back a few inches, get yourself a nice angle on the six. And he's kind of straight here. Gonna have to force something or drop back. He's gonna force it out. And he's forced it into this bottom hole here. Mm. It's a rough start for Dan. not seeing things. These pockets are tight. These are the uh, pro cut four and a quarter inch pockets on this table. All of the other are the four and a half inches in the room. <coughs> Those couple easy balls and Bart takes the two to nothing lead. We have uh, added something to our stream. You guys might be hearing it. Um, let me know what you think. Um, <coughs> we've put in some free background music from new stream <coughs> or YouTube. Um, to kind of drown out the background musics here so that YouTube doesn't cut our video, um, the um, audio part of our video due to, you know, co uh, copyright issues with the music that is actually playing in the room. And so when I have to cut my mic, you guys aren't in dead silence. All right, let's, sorry about that. Let's see what's going on with the rest of the game here. We're getting another safety battle. And Dan's overhit this ball just a little bit and it leaked out. And a nice little opportunity here. And big shot is going to be um, positioned on the six ball here to be able to avoid the nine. And here he's got to make sure he ends up with a shot on this three. It's a good shot. He's going to slide out just this side of the five up towards the center of the table for the four ball. He's got a nice angle just to come off this end rail with a little bit of left hand English and work it back towards the five. And now he can either shoot and stop this, or he can roll it forward and play use the rail. Oh yeah, he tried to use the rail to get below the six. And it is uh, did not turn out favorable for him. See, I prefer this angle here on the six. We come out off the rail. Or Bart was trying to get below it, or at least that's where he, you know, the cue ball was headed. Then to the shot inside, drop back just a little bit. Then Bart's giving him that game. He's taking one back.
the table, sprung a leak. Well, they only made two balls. It sounded like a lot more than that. Uh, this opening shot here is probably going to be the big shot of the, uh, uh, the big shot of the game. Uh, these are smaller holes, and that eight ball's blocking half of it, and he just fired it right through there. They can go forward two rails with this to try to come on the back side of the five, or he can try and draw off of it. I don't. Uh, I like the going forward two rails. Bart spun off one rail. No, this is a little touchy here. And he hit it good. It came out and he's got a shot on the six. But seven wants it to slow down. Probably gonna brush the nine on this shot here. And he hit it full in the face and wants it to get. And that did. Got a nice little shot here for shape and pull it back out and straight in on the side. And it appears nobody wants to let anybody finish a rack. I, I make everybody shoot him. to welcome everybody. My name is Sherry. Thank you for turning tuning into Railbirds Productions. This is a monthly tournament at the Fallen Timbers in Honor, Michigan. Uh, due to weather, we've uh, ended up with just a small field of 11. Um, may consider next year taking a couple of months off during the months when we have a boatload of snow and people don't don't and probably shouldn't drive in it. You are watching Bart Good and Dan Bell. This is a first round match. Dan is at the table. And he's made a couple of balls in the break here. past it. I was just I'm gonna, uh, wondering if it did. I can come down here for uh, makes this deuce and fours down table right there by his hand. And that 5-9 could be a pretty viable shot. Serviceable. Uh, not anymore. But still uh, this will work. Let's try to just pop this ball. Probably slide off to the right. And he did, he just missed the four. Mm, Bart's got a nice angle here. That was a nice shot. Caught the right side of the nine, popped it out. Pull this one back, half foot, foot, maybe further. And Dan's gonna get in that one too. So, Fallen Timbers, uh, we have uh, five seven-foot diamond tables here. Uh, there is plans for more to come in the future. 
Really appreciate uh, what Roger and Trista, the owners, have done here for us. Uh, a year ago, they started out with one valley table, brought in a local um, traveling pool league, and heard about the BCA pool leagues and stuff, and decided that uh, they wanted to do what they could for us, and brought in four. Last month, we brought in this fifth table here. It's the one we're streaming. And hopefully spring or summer we get uh, a couple more seven footers and then there's talk of a nine footer coming in for um, you know, people to practice on an action table. And he's got in mind where this two ball goes off of this and the cue ball, he's in trouble. May have just enough of it to be able to cut this ball up in the corner. Straight pull helps out a lot with that. <coughs> you gotta know how balls react off of each other, where they're going. Mm. And you gotta hit that ball perfect to end up snookered like that. It's a game of millimeters, folks. He hit that good. He just got unfortunate, to, you know, the way side of the five that he kissed. And he's gonna go airborne, and he drills it. Nice shot, Bart. If I was adept at this computer stuff as my husband was, I'd have that an instant replay for y'all. <coughs> he's just gonna slide off to the side rail above the side pocket and back out for the seven ball. Just missed making that. He's left, left Dan with a you know, little tester to start with. If he makes this, he should lead for some good shape. Oh no. Oh no. It's not going good. <coughs> Pardon me. He's almost come too far here, but he's able. I think he's able to push this through the 8-9. And he did. Hit it perfect. Just a tiny bit of left English work off the rail. And another, that's good. This alternating break, uh, Dan's got to <coughs> get something going his way soon. It's a beautiful winter's day outside. We've had winter weather advisories all week. Blowing snow at, you know, with the wind chill negative 12, 13 degrees, and we got people driving two hours to play pool with us, and it's awesome. Goes Dan to break, and uh, I think he put a little bit more into that one, and didn't come up with the ball. There's a little frustration break there. Nothing's going his way right now, and I'll take the. back and forth. I like this rather than trying to hold that. These tables are so fast, especially with the cold, dry air. If you try to hold that up, you're frozen on the end rail. And there's a, a little you know, stun draw. Let's it change the angle so that he can pull it down table. People are knocking stuff over and 11 guys in the group and they're all rowdy. No. A little bump off of the rail. Well, probably wants to come out. 
this. We can use that side rail to come off of this. Some just below center right hand English bounce off the rail. I'm actually going to see somebody make a nine. This is, if you guys don't know, this is Bart Good at the table. Bart was the number, was the um, pick of the litter in our players auction today. And for good reason. He, last month, this tournament, he um, split the finals. So sorry, people. You're not going to be able to go back and watch the rest of this match. I did not realize that Kevin did not didn't start the record button. I just started it, so we'll only have the last, you know, the, from six to one available. Again, I apologize for that. that nice to avoid that eight ball. Uh, he wants to pull this back. I'd try, you know, prop, just pop it off of the rail a little bit, avoid the six. Mm, now it's got some work to do. Draw it to the side rail with bunch of English and have it spin down table. Uh, that's what he's going to have to do. He's going to draw it to the side rail with a bolt load left. Load it up. And you don't want to power the ball. you gotta, you got to finesse stroke this or else the English doesn't, if you hit it too hard, the English doesn't take when it oh, going to the rail. You just got to really finesse this ball. So you lost the English there. He did end up with a shot, though, at least. Uh, if they collided, he'd have been uh, probably okay, but they didn't. And he's left part a nice opening here. Five balls left, and... to the rail with English and spin out for this. He wants that to bump. I like just rolling this in and taking the back angle on it. Mm. Those back cut shots like that, you, you let everybody shoot them. Dan seems to be struggling some, and you know what happens. It's a first match. I've played him a few times. I know he plays better than this. He's beat me both times I've played him. And so let's watch this break again here. They both got really big breaks. Made a couple of balls. Made a ball. I think uh, he either needs to start going defensive or something. Is uh, the offensive isn't getting him anywhere. First couple of games were pretty defensive games and. He got one of those. Uh, the 
that's going to be trouble. And if I'm Bart, I probably thin off the two and put the cue ball at it, but it looks like Bart's banking the deuce at it. And he's made it. And that's the hill. And it's Bart's break. Yeah, I see there. I like I like putting a cue ball at the nine. A cue ball doesn't go flying around the table off the three. Possibly scratch. You hit it bad and you leave the or the two. You leave the two nine for your opponent. If you set the cue ball at it, that you know those options go away for your opponent. And because the cue ball is you know coming off, it doesn't. You don't have to hit it as hard. But you know he hit it dead center of the hole. Six one half dozen of another. But, you know, oh, nice. Uh, that ball might not have scratched. These are little pockets. All right, Dan, you got something to work with here. Let's see this. I definitely know he's capable. doing there but it could have been uh, looked at as measuring and that is illegal boys and girls you cannot use a ball to see what you know the clearance between something and he concedes the match there he thinks that uh, Bart's gonna make that combination That's all she wrote. And I'll get you all something up as soon as I can. It's, there's only 11 players, and I've got every match going that can. Um, stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> 